this has been a heavily requested video from me. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this one or two parts. It might be too long for one, one part, so I might make it into two. But it will definitely not be three. If I do a third one, it'll just be like how to customize the site a little bit. So, basically it's just how to make a trading site. So, if you guys don't know what this is, I can pull up my, uh, this one. If you go to, like, cs.money, that's basically a trading site. Trade. So basically it's going to be just a site like this, maybe they, oh it's just down here now. So basically a site like this where you put your items in and then you select whatever you want from their bot and you trade it. So what you're going to need for this is the scripts for one. You will need the scripts, I'll have the down link at the top of the description. And you will need a drop, a DigitalOcean account, and there's another link for this down in the description as well. You'll need to log into your email that you use to make the DigitalOcean account. You'll need Steam Desktop Authenticator. The link will be in the description. So you just click right here and then do download zip to download it. Actually, Steam Desktop Authenticator, I would use this download here button. It usually works out better for people. For PuTTY, you click right here. The links for all these things will be down in the description. And then FileZilla, you will just download it right here. So start off here and go to DigitalOcean the account you just made. And you're going to deposit $5 onto your account. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to give you $15 if you use my referral code to give you t extra $10 and you deposit 5 which I highly recommend you do. And then you'll go up here to the create button, hit droplet. It should take a minute to load. And you're going to do Ubuntu. And you're going to do 14.04.5x64. And it kind of depends how big you think this site's going to get. I'm just making a demo site, so I'm going to do $5 a month for those specs. If you're going to be like a medium to large, like a medium, like a small to medium-ish site, I'd do this one. You know, a large site, you can go however much you need. Pick the closest one to you. I'm going to do um, New York 3. But you can pick any of them, whatever's closest to you and your audience. For this, I would name it Trade Site. You just trade this Trade Site. Okay. So for this, you can kind of just name it whatever you want. This is what I'm going to do. And it will start creating it here. And you should get an email with the login in a moment. So, you know, while we're waiting for this, you guys can download all the other stuff you need. I can, I'm basically going to walk you through basically this, the basic stuff of the script. But if you want to customize it, you have to contact me on Steam. Or we'll have to, you know, we'll do something. So you're going to copy that. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up Putty right here and hit run. You're going to paste that into the first box right there. And you're going to hit open. You'll hit no if that pops up. For login ad, you're going to do root. It would ask for the password. You're going to go to your email, which you should have open. It should send you a email like this. And it should say... IP username and this is the password. And you're going to copy that, so I'm going to use copy. Now to paste it into a putty window, you right click with your mouse and hit enter. It will take a minute for the first time you log in. And now to do this, you'll need to change your password to the current one, so you'll hit right click again, hit enter. Enter a new one, so I'm going to enter in a new one, and I want to retype it. And now I'm fully in my VPS. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the commands list I have down in the description. You're going to paste these commands in. The first one is sudo apt get update. And this will force the VPS to update itself. And this can sometimes take a minute, depending on if there's updates that need to be done. And so forth. We're only going to do like a few of the commands right now. And then we can get, get all the files uploaded and everything ready to go. And now we're going to paste in the next command, which is sudo apt get install apache2. And this basically makes it so you can upload websites on here. Now when this comes up, if you want to continue, you push Y and then hit enter. And once that's done, it should only take a minute, it's done now. Don't close out this putty window. I'm just going to go here. And you're going to grab the IP of this. And we're going to paste this up here. And if you get this Apache 2 uh, Ubuntu default page, 
then that's good. That's you're basically just right, in, right on track with me. To get the IP, I just went over the hover over the IP here and then hit copy. Oh, also, if you guys haven't checked out the CSGO referral site yet, you just go check it out. We're going to be the we're trying to be the biggest CSGO referral site. So yeah. Um. So yeah, there's this. Now we're gonna go to, put that to the side. We're gonna open up FileZilla. And what we're actually going to do with this is I have the IP, and you're going to push the IP in here for the host. Second. And then for username, you're going to put root. Then for password, you're going to put in whatever you put as the password. There's mine. And for port, you're going to do 22. And hit quick connect. Hit OK. Now from here, you're going to hit the little two dots right here, or three or whatever that is. You're going to click that and then go to var. And from there, you're going to go to www, and this is the HTML page you just saw. So you're going to go into the HTML file, and here's the actual HTML page. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that. Just hit delete and hit yes. Okay, now what we're going to do is once we have that done, when you go to this, this page will just disappear, and that's exactly what you want. And you're going to go to your files. You, the downlink will give you a zip file like this to unzip it. After you get WinRAR, you just exact extract to this. That'll give you this file. Now with this, you'll open it up, and your index files are basically it's your basically uh, your main page. So it's how it'll look. The README this has information. So my second screen here. This will have information of how, like how to get support for the script and whatnot. Um, Cause here I can actually show you guys the the demo of this site. But this is basically all the information on problems and what you need to actually do this. If you want to work ahead, you guys can just kind of read through this if you kind of know what you're doing. I'll show you guys the demo of this site real quick, actually. Here you go. And here's the demo of the site. You'll sign in right here, and you can see you can put your items in here and over here. So there you go. There's the demo. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to config right here. Hold on, let me open up streaming software again. You're going to hit right click and hit open with notepad++. If you don't have notepad++, um, just google notepad++ and it should be the first thing. You're going to hit open up with notepad++. You don't need this, but I highly recommend notepad++ to make it so much easier. So right here you're just going to be, I would leave this as bot1 and when you do a second bot you'll do bot2, bot3, bot4, etc. So account name. So what this actually is, is the then the username you use to log in with the bot. This is not the one that it shows up on scene. This is the one you use to log in. This is the password for the bot. Two-factor authentication code. What this is, is when you get the Steam Desktop Authenticator, there'll be two things in the, in the config for that. A shared secret and identity secret. This is where the shared secret will be pasted in. The identity secret will be pasted in right here. The Steam ID 64, you just click on this link and sign into your bot account. And that'll give you this, give Steam ID 64 for this, and you just paste that in there. And then the name, this is what every, your name of the bot's going to be on the site. So like if you want to be like whatever bot1, you'll just put that name right here. Now, this is to be your actual main account information. So for the Steam API key, you click on this link to get that, you just paste it in. For this service, you just go to this website here and log in and paste your ID in right here. It's fairly simple. I mean, once you get the ID, it'll say copy this, you copy it, then you paste it in here. So this is going to be the, the site information, so this is going to be the header of the site, so like what's your name of your site's going to be, so if you're like, see us stop money, there, that's what you'd put. So Steam Group, if you have a Steam Group, you copy this, and you paste in the Steam Group link right there. So for the copyright, you'll do copyright, and you'll do like site name. You'll just paste your site name in like that. For the domain, you're going to do site name com, and then for website, you're going to use the whole the whole URL, so like this. You'll use the full URL here, and then for here, you're going to leave out the HTTP colon slash slash www and all that. You're just going to put the site name and then .com or .info or .org or whatever. For right here, for site port, leave that at 80. That's very important that you leave that at 80. So the trade message, this is what they'll get when they send a trade offer. So, yeah, as he said here, quite obvious. Um, so this will ignore items below this value like in US dollars, and this will count values at this price as trash. So that makes sense. So these are the percentages that they'll buy they'll buy and sell the items for. So one would be 100%, 0.1%, 0.2%, 0.3%, 0.4%, 0.5%, 0.6%, 0.7%, 0.8%, 0.9%, 0.10%, 0.11%, 0.12%, 0.
0.95 is 95%, so that's how it kind of goes. Then 1.05 is 105%, so that's how this system works here. If you have any questions about that, you can contact me on Steam. Or if you have any questions about anything else on this script, you can contact me on Steam. So once you put all this information here, if you want to have multiple bots, like your bots are starting to get full, what you do is you'll copy like this. You'll hit enter at this after this last one and paste that in. You paste it again, paste it again, and then you can just say bot two, bot three, bot four, just like that. And you just keep adding bots if, as you need them. But I'm not going to do that here. Then what you actually do is what, in your case, you'll actually save that. But I'm not going to fully make the site here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go here and you're going to select all these files and drag them over into the www.htp folder. That could take a little bit to upload. It shouldn't take too long. There's only six files left. One file. Just waiting on that one file. I may have already transferred. We're going to go here and we're going to re refresh the page. And here is your brand new trading site. Okay, guys. So we're not fully done with the script yet. We still have some more stuff to set up, obviously. Once you have all the information I showed you how to put in, you're basically done. I mean, there's not really much else you need to do. Uh, but I might make another video just to kind of explain some more in-detail stuff. But if you kind of just click on the links that are in the little fo the config file, you'll get it. But for, I'll make another video for people that need a little bit extra help and the details of how to make this site. But yeah, this is basically it. Uh, if you have items here, you just select them and your bot's items will come up here. It'll say, please wait because I have no bot in there right now. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and please like, comment, subscribe. If you need help with anything, don't even hesitate to contact me on Steam. See you guys later.